Welcome back to Civilian Tactical Ammo Lab Edition. Today I have something so small and tiny it borders on suspicious. The round I hold in my hand is called the Super Colibri Bullet, and it's rumored to be so silent you could shoot it indoors. But is it really as quiet as the kids these days say it is? Well, we're gonna test sound, but we're also gonna test lethality and accuracy. So let's load it up to see how loud and how deadly it really is. Three, two, one. Wow, okay, I kid you not, that was shooting the bullet and this is clapping my hands. That was like 10 times louder. This is gonna be an interesting video. Now before we test lethality, there's a few types of guns people told me not to shoot this ammunition through and we're gonna test it out. First up, we've got a revolver. Yes, it's a five shot 22 revolver. The reason they say not to shoot these out of a revolver is because there's too many gaps for the gas to escape, causing it to be really, really loud. Three, two, one. Oh wow, yeah, that is like 10 times louder than when we shot it through that rifle. Yeah, super uncomfortable if I wasn't covering my ears. So don't fire this out of a revolver if you want it to be quiet. Next, they say don't fire the Super Colibri out of a pistol with a short barrel that's semi-automatic, which is exactly what we have here, the Burst of Thunder, because it's not going to cycle and that short barrel is gonna make it really loud. Let's find out. I have a little bit more confidence in this than I did with the revolver. It's still pretty loud. I'm gonna say it sounds similar to a nail gun, maybe just a little bit quieter, and let's see if it cycled. It didn't cycle that next round, so you have to manually do it. Fire, and go again. But the biggest question, is it HOA safe? And I would say yes, even out of a small pistol. People are not gonna think that that is a gunshot. It's still incredibly quiet. This is not legal advice. Next, people have told me not to shoot this ammunition out of a pistol that has a port because the gases will redirect upwards and cause a little bit of extra noise. Let's test that out right now. Uh, I would say that's less loud than our shorter barrel. I would say that port does nothing, but it didn't cycle. So you're still gonna have to cycle even quieter. So definitely nobody's gonna hear this if you need to dispatch an animal very quietly, perhaps a rat or I don't know, a rogue possum. And next they say don't shoot the Super Colibri out of a rifle with a really long barrel, which is what we have right here. This is a Volkortsen and it does have about an 18 inch barrel. They say it won't have enough energy to leave that barrel. So let's test that out now. Mm, yeah, it definitely left the barrel. You could even hear it hit the steel in the backdrop. And I have to say, the longer the barrel, the quieter these bullets tend to get. So I would actually say this would be my default if I'm gonna shoot it quietly, quieter than a pellet or an air gun. This thing is ridiculous. So where do you get this stuff and who makes it? Well, I have to tell you, if you find this stuff on the shelf, grab a box because it's cool and it's really, really hard to find. Made by Aguila, it's manufactured in Mexico and it's actually a primer only round meaning there's no gunpowder inside the cartridge, just that primer which launches the bullet downrange. That's how it's so ridiculously quiet. And it's for exactly this reason I want to pit this thing up against a regular round of 22 in an energy test to see how comparable it is. Clearly it's gonna have a little bit less energy, but how much less? First up, our Super Colibri Aguila round. Three, two, one, firing. Next up, regular 22 LR, three, two, one. That is so much louder. You forget how loud regular 22 is. Let's go review that slow-mo and see the damage. For our Super Colibri, we did get two holes, one in the front and out the back. So that's actually some decent penetration. This thing went twirling. I think the energy from that 22 popped this in the air just a couple inches as it spun around. So yes, the regular 22 did have a bit more energy, but still impressive from the Super Colibri. Now it's time for the accuracy test because who cares if it's deadly, if it can't hit what you're trying to shoot. And because the bullets are powered only by the primer, they're gonna be relatively low energy. So I have a feeling we're gonna start getting a lot of drop off so we're going to shoot at three different distances to see that as well three rounds at about 10 feet now we're backed up to about 50 feet 
and I shot up at 200 feet. It was kind of hard to set up the camera, so let's just go look at the results. And for results, at both 20 and 50 feet, we were grouping in about the same area, so no difference there whatsoever. And this is where we started to see the drop off. At that farther distance, here was our group. So accurate and effective 50 feet and in with these teeny tiny rounds. Now for our penetration test, we have this ballistics gelatin block, but before we shoot it, if you're interested in stacking up on regular ammunition, not like the stuff we're shooting here today, check out our sponsor, Ammo Squared. They'll help you automate it and do it automatically. They are great. And of course, 945 Industries, they have this awesome chest bag, which allows you to deploy your pistol super quickly. Use code BAG10 for 10% off at 945 Industries. Again, code BAG10. Shooting it once with a pistol, which allegedly is going to be the best option. Three, two, one. And then once with our long barrel, which allegedly slows down the bullet. Three, two, one. I blasted a regular round of 22 and we went about this deep into the ballistics gelatin. But for our Super Colibri rounds, we only went about this far. The bottom one is the pistol and it went about three inches. This top one went about four inches and it was from the rifle. What's really interesting is you can see the wound channel extends farther than where the bullet is currently sitting, but it's like the ballistics gelatin stretched it back and caught it right there. So comparing wound channels, I would say the Super Colibri is about one third as powerful as a regular round of 22 LR. So with those results, are these a gimmick or are they a useful tool? Well, I would say the pros are that they're dead quiet. You could use this in a neighborhood to dispatch an animal and nobody's gonna hear as we mentioned previously. The cons, it doesn't cycle in a semi-automatic firearm and depending on the type of pistol, like a revolver, it could be really loud. So you do have to know what you're gonna be shooting this through in order to get maximum quietness. And as for penetration, I think that's plenty to kill any varmints that you might need to take out with this stuff. Overall, our testing shows Super Colibri, in my opinion, is a very good tool to have in your toolbox. Subscribe for more.